Okay, let's go over the um, what is a parabolic move and, and how we can uh, watch for these uh, big pushes in uh, all these markets when they occur on this pattern recognition software. So these are patterns in the market that happen on a consistent daily basis. Um, we show the S&P in the live room. Uh, I want to show you when you get what's called a parabolic move or what's called climax buying or climax selling. When you get an extreme push to the downside or upside. So we all know I've got a dual trend filter uh, where we have my outer zone. They, they run parallel to each other. This is my trend zone. And if it's red, we're in a downtrend. And if the inside dots are red, we are in a downtrend. And that is called the dual trend filter. When they both agree, when it's red, red, we're only looking to short. All right, if it's green, green, we're only looking to buy. So if you are green, green, like this, where the outer trend filter, the outer zone is green and the inner dots are green, you're looking to buy retracements on V bottoms, such as here at 8.45 yesterday, and you're looking for momentum trades, so on. So let's go, when does a parabolic move and climax buying happen? And when does a parabolic sell-off happen in climax selling? So let's take a look at it. If you're in a normal uptrend, meaning you're green, green, both trend filters are green, what you want to do is you want to look for V bottoms. So V bottoms, you're going to have the counter trend traders, these red candles come in, and then you're going to see a yellow candle that fires. This is the trigger candle or the entry candle. As long as that candle comes in and fires within three candles of the, the hammer, which is at this level, or the doji, one, two, three, within three candles, that is an entry. It's called a V bottom with trend. Then we go into what's called a momentum. What happens is this is the accumulation phase. There's, there's a couple phases in the market that happens on a daily basis. Accumulation, distribution, a markup and markdown phase. So this is the accumulation phase when you get a V bottom. And then they start marking the market up. You get a momentum trade that comes in. That's when this oscillator gets pegged above 123.81. The first momentum after a V bottom, that's your best combination. Then you got a momentum two. After momentum two happens, meaning here's one, here's two, after a V bottom. Once the third one comes in, now I talked about this live yesterday in the room as this candle printed. I said, watch for the market to go in a parabolic move or climax buying. And this is when the S&P was 54.90 and a quarter when I talked on the mic after it printed this first candle. Well, the S&P continues to run, and it runs 27 points. Uh, I'm sorry, 17 points to the upside. It ran 17 points to the upside right after I talked about this on this candle. Why did I think it's going to be parabolic? Because with, the, with these patterns, after you get a MOMO 2 that happens and the MOMO 3 comes in, the market tends to go vertical because all these traders that have missed, all these counter trend traders, they get stopped out when the swing high is broken. When that swing high is broken, typically that's MOMO 3 they're going to try to jump in and try to catch the wave up because they've been stopped out. They try to short the market. They're countering the overall dual trend filter. You can see when this swing high broken, Momo 3 starts printing the structure, and then you get this blow-off rally of 17 points. Same thing happens on the downside. When the trend filter turns green-red, opposite color dots, inner dots turned red here, and then they turned green. Um, yesterday on the mic, I said we're looking for a failure, and then we're looking for a V top. Sure enough, we got the failure rolled right into a V top. Now, what a V top is is the same thing as a V bottom, only you're looking to short only. So you want to wait for red, red. So the inner dots, the outer dots turned red, and the inner dots turned red. Right here, this is a chop market looking for a failure trade when it's opposite colors, green, red. This is a transition phase. So then we come up, the counter trend traders start coming in again. They come in, push the market up. Once they push the market up, you're looking for a V top. The first candle that comes within three candles after your first hammer, there's your hammer or doji, right where my cursor's at. 
one, two, three happens on the second one. That is your entry or your trigger candle. Entry is below this candle. This is a 20 tick chart. So your initial stop can be halfway here with a 15 or 20 tick stop. We get rolling. Momo one comes in. Momo two comes in. Then the market gets into climax selling. This starts the move, this hard move down to the downside. Because when you start getting Momo threes, it tells you that the market can go parabolic and you're looking for a big down move. And it lets us know in the next retracement after Momo three, you have a really nice possible V top coming because we, we're in a possible parabolic move. So then we get counter trend traders coming again. Remember, when you're red, red, we cannot buy. That's for the amateur counter trend traders, counter algos. It's red, red. You get a V top. Market starts going down. Retraces. There's your V top entry. There's your V top entry. This is the best entry you're going to get in the trade room. This is called a zero turn candle. V top. That means it happens on the first candle. The first candle, the hammer is actually yellow. I actually talked about this in the room live yesterday about how this could be a big one. Sure enough, it was because that was a zero turn candle. My hammer turned yellow. My structure turned yellow exactly on that, and the market just started tanking. I mean, we just got taken to the woodshed. So V top, Momo one, Momo two, parabolic move right here at 44, 47 and three quarters, got down to 24, another V top another VTOP, and so on. So just remember on, um, and, and then we start turning back to the upside, and then we got our V bottoms, uh, Momo 1, Momo 2, then it went parabolic again, had another parabolic move. So that's that's the rhythm of it. That is the rhythm of it. Um, when, when you watch these, just remember if you get a, this is an outer edge trade, if you get a yellow candle with overall dual trend, this is at a close yesterday, uh, we love trading these markets into the close. 55, 39 a quarter, it exploded to the upside to 55, 67 and a half because we had the zero turn candle that happened right there at the low uh, with overall trend. 